Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Roy. Let's get started using Sora. First thing we're gonna do is get to Sora. So I'm going to start right in my search bar and type S-O-R-A-A-P-P dot C-O-M and click enter. Now mine automatically came up here with Williamsville as my school, but if yours doesn't come up, you can go right down to the very bottom of your screen where it says, I have a setup code and type Williamsville, W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S-V-I-L-L-E, New York. I know, it's crazy long. Then click on Get Started. So up will come in your sign in, sign into Williamsville Central School District. Now again, I've done it and I've saved mine and I recommend saving your username and password once you do it the first time so you don't have to type it in every time. Now if you notice, my username is E-J-R-O-Y, that's my first initial, my middle initial, and in my case there's only three letters because my full last name only has three letters. But if you have a longer name, which most people do, it's the first five letters of your last name. That should also be the same as your WITS user ID. Now your password is different. I'm not going to share my password and you know you shouldn't share yours either. Um, and I've got that other video on the site that shows how to find your password. And again, if you have any trouble finding that, just send me a WITS mail and I can help you with it. Now I'm gonna click sign in and you can see I actually already have two books on my bookshelf. I started reading Inspector Flytrap because one of my students recommended it as a good read and that's an on-demand title that any of you can read right now. There are an unlimited number of checkouts for that book. And I also have the book Hello Lighthouse because that's one of the lesson plans that I'm doing for students. So the thing I really wanna point out is that right now so many students are needing books from Sora because they can't get to libraries. So it's great, check out books and read them. You will be limited to three books to check out. And as soon as you read a book, please return the book because if you're done with it, it's great to return it so that other students can read it. If you don't return it, it will sit on your shelf for 21 days and no one else can read it for all that time. So I've already done my lesson on Hello Lighthouse, so I'm gonna click on this book to open it. And then you'll see I get this whole screen of options. If I wanted to read the book, I would just click on Open Book. If I wanted to renew it, let's pretend that I've had it for 20, close to 21 days and I wasn't done with it, I could renew it and keep it longer. You can see I've actually still have 14 days left on this book, but I'm done reading it. So I wanna return it in case if someone else wants to read it. So here I'm gonna click down where it says return. And then I'm gonna click again where it says return. And now it's not on my shelf anymore. I just have Inspector Flytrap and I haven't finished that book, so I'm not going to return it. This one actually though, because it is on demand, it doesn't matter as much to return because any student can check that out. Those are on, that is an on-demand title. Just to show you a few more things, remember at the bottom shelf, at the very bottom of your screen, you'll see this home. And if I click on home, that takes me right back to the page that opened up when I started. If I wanna, now I could still check out two more books because remember I can get up to three at a time. So if I click on explore, this is where I will see, you know, all the different things that are available. Now, certain books are just highlighted on this page. That's not all the books that are in Sora and the Williamsville account. If I want to search for a title, say there's a book I really know I want to read, I could click up here in the search bar on the top left and click it. And then this new kind of blank screen opens. And I'm trying to think of a book I might want to read. I just go with one of my very old favorites, which is Harry 
Potter. I'm going to click enter and just see what comes up. And now you can see all different titles, all the Harry Potter book titles come up that we have. So, and as I'm looking quickly, place a hold, place a hold, place a hold. Most of the Harry Potter books are checked out right now. Also notice if there's headphones, that's an audio title. I'm trying to see if any of the eBooks come up. Not yet. So if you notice down here, I can see where it says see more and I can click on see more and that will show all the Williamsville holdings of Harry Potter books. So I'm looking for one that might be available. I can see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is available. I don't want to read that one though. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to read. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So I'm going to click on borrow. And it comes right up. I'm ready to read. I can click. And I can click through it right on my device. If I don't want to read it on my device, I'm just going to close it. And I'm going to go back to my shelf. And here's my book and it's, I can read it on my Chromebook, but if I wanted to read it on a different device, I would click here on options and then I would click here on send to device. And it, once I click on send to device, that would give me options of where I can send it. So if you have a tablet, an iPad, a smartphone, a Kindle, something like that, you can send the book to your device and read on your device rather than at your computer or Chromebook if you'd rather not do that. And then the last thing I just want to show you again, if you click down here where it says me, you can see all the awards and achievements that you get every time you borrow a book, return a book, read at a certain time or for a certain amount of time. So it's kind of fun to collect those. That's all for now. I don't want to overwhelm you with things, but if you have questions, if you need help, please send me a Witzmail and I'm glad to help you out with it. See you later.